Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about what you're going to find when you raid mines. So I made a video on this about caves, and caves are the in general kind of thing that you find that spawns all the different types of gear that's in general gear. By the way, I have a cold, so I have a throat lozenge thing, whatever you want to call it, and it's a friggin' cough drop, okay? So it's, eh, weird. But, the mines. What you find in mines is, I think, very interesting for this game. Mines generally don't have a lot of wild animals in them. This is just my experience. They have humanoid creatures. So this is the place where I find the most vampires, actually. Not alien ruins or forts, but, like, you find vampires in these things. The spawn is a lot of, you know, sometimes a lot of gold, but mostly a lot of gear. Things like weapons and enchanted pieces of armor. Not so much clothes, so if you have a character that can't hold a lot of stuff and their inventory is filled up, just avoid mines. They're not really worth it for that low weight capacity character. But if you have a character like a fighter, warrior, or battle mage who needs enchanted gear, who needs the better gear, raid mines. I think mines are probably the most underrated dungeon in Oblivion. This is just based on, you know, I play this game a lot. I don't watch content on it. But I kind of have a general feel that mines are underrated because they have all the gear that you need right inside of them. All right, I find a lot of enchanted stuff in here in higher levels. And that means that sometimes if you need gold and you can't find an alien ruin, which in my opinion is the best place to find gold, then you go to a mine. Very simple, you go to a mine. And if you want to get the vampire dust, the special, the, the, that kind of special alchemical ingredient, boom, you got yourself a mine with p probably vampires in it. But that's all I have to say about mines. There's not a lot of traps, and there's not a lot of depth to mines. I mean, occasionally you'll find, like, there's a mine outside of one of the cities where you can see the bottom of the city wall, and there's a mine in the Mage's Guild quest where you end up, I think it's a cave, actually, so and it's not even a mine, but it looks like a mine. So with that, guys, my wrap-up is use mines to find gear that you need. Better gear, you know, if you're at the Orcish Armor, you want to get Diedrich. If you're at Elven and you want to get Glass Armor, that's what the mines are for. So that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video on Oblivion. It's pretty short, but sometimes it's like that. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.